question. What COVID-19 brought is her friend who is called social distancing. Now, that is the problem. Even if they can find a cure for, 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 for COVID-19, but then social distancing will still continue. It might go up until 2023. Who knows? Hey yo guys, what's up? Compliments of the new year. Welcome to um, season two of the Express Online with me, Vince SP. Hope you're all doing good. Mahomofia, as we usually say that locally. Mahomofia. Hope guys it's any sharp and we are all practicing the COVID-19 rules. Now, I want us to start off the year with, uh, you know, this, this talk. You know, and I feel like it's going to be one of those talks where we are able to build on top of it. And the question is simple. The question is, is COVID-19 the ultimate life reset button or not? When you're chilling there at home, getting all this information regarding what is being said about COVID-19, do you think like it is the ultimate reset button? Or it's not. What are your thoughts on this? You know, hit me up. Let's let's engage on this matter because of, from this issue, then we will be able to open up and look into other departments of uh, of life that are being affected by you know by this pandemic. I mean, since the introduction of uh, this pandemic back in uh, 2019, a lot of things have been uh, gradually changing, and uh, these are things that are affecting us directly. They, these things affect us directly. So I don't want to talk about big things, but I want us to look into what affects us. I mean, looking into how we used to get education back then, it is now changing. Looking at, into how we used to attend uh, social gatherings, that is now changing, if not dying. Looking into how we used to, uh, you know, earn a living, a lot of companies are retrenching staff and stuff. People are now working, you know, at homes. How we used to do shopping is now changing. There's take a lot. There's, you know, a lot of things that are now happening uh, online. These things are changing. How we used to watch movies. We used to go to cinemas and watch movies there. Now, now all of these things are changing. Also, how we used to pray. Let's be honest. How we used to pray. Now we no longer go to churches in a building now just you know people switch on their apps and the next thing they are in a in a sermon so things are things are changing um i want to to argue though to say these things have been there before covid 19 right the change has been there before covid 19 but then with the introduction of COVID-19, all these things are now being accelerated. We've been buying things online. Right? We've been watching movies online. Right? We have been doing all of these things online. I mean, Netflix is not new. Netflix didn't come in 2019. It has been there. Show makes us not, they didn't come in 2019, it has been there. YouTube, it has been there. So we have been getting into, into you know, this online living. But I think with the introduction of COVID-19, these things have now accelerated. You know, these things have now accelerated. They are now more unlike before. They are now more unlike before. Now, education is online. Now, uh, 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 seminars are happening online. Classes are now happening online. Buying is more online. People can buy a, lot of, a loaf of bread with eggs. <laughs> you know, uh, from take a lot, a person would order a loaf of bread and eggs, 
until guys will be here, you know, just to, to, to deliver to deliver the loaf of bread and eggs. It has now now it is that rife. Things are now happening in that uh, you know in this situation. But one if there's one department that we are struggling to adapt to, is this thing of events or social gallery. Hey, that one is a tough one. Tough, tough one. How do you at attend an, an, a musical event online? Really? We can't. I mean, I miss, I miss TEDx, uh, TEDx Johannesburg, there's TEDx Pretoria, TEDx whatever. I miss such events. Now you can't attend. They're like, no, these things are happening online. So how, how are we going to do the meet and greet and exchange business cards and, you know, say, uh, so what do you do? No, I mean this, you know, I mean this industry. So, you know, how can we exchange business? All of those are now a thing of the past. And my question is, before I can actually get to my question, what COVID-19 brought is her friend who is called social distancing. Now, that is the problem. Even if they can find a cure for, 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 for COVID-19, but then social distancing will still continue. It might go up until 2023. Who knows? You know, even if tomorrow they can say, no, uh, we did find uh, a cure for COVID-19, but just to make sure that everyone is safe, we are going to continue with, uh, with, with social distancing for the next two to three years. So basically, we are still bound to live or to get used to this new normal of doing things at home, working at home, buying things from home, and let the delivery guy deliver uh, services to your to your gate. That is what basically we are being introduced to. Now my question is, with all these things that are happening, are you waiting for you to go back to the old normal that took place around 2018? Or you are adapting to the new normal? Hmm? Now you're saying, no, I am waiting for, for Cyril or for World Health Organization to announce that, no, uh, we will be going back to the new normal, no, we'll be going back to the old normal and uh, yeah, just keep on waiting, then we'll go back. Are you waiting for us to go back or you are adapting? Do you think COVID-19 is that, is that reset button or it's not? Hit me up with your comments. Let us uh, engage on this matter. Is this COVID-19 resetting life as we used to know it as? Or is not? Talk to me. I have a few voice notes that I'll be running through from several guys that I asked this question. And yeah, we'll be engaging on that. I mean, there's a lot of things that are happening. Looking into the industrialization side, entrepreneurship, employment. I mean, how many companies coming out every time saying they are retrenching? A lot. SABC is retaining 300 employees. 300 employees. So now it's like we are forced to adapt. Hmm? We are forced to adapt. Yeah, so tough one. Let me play some uh, voice notes from uh, some of my friends. Let's hear what their thoughts are regarding this issue of um, COVID-19 as it is the reset button or not the first one first voice note from uh Pala. i think where this pandemic now it's it's at a crisis stage so it will take very long for 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 for, for the system to stabilize it uh i estimate it i estimate this current situation to last until around about 2023 and then things will cool down after then but definitely life will no longer be the same ever again and uh, we just need to adapt we just need to reset our way of doing things uh, family gatherings funerals social events everything we need to we need to really change uh, the way we look at things and most importantly, 
to I think we need to survive this by 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 you know taking more care of family members and close friends. Joseph Allah says this thing is going to be here until 2023. That is like three years of social distancing. That is three years of getting used to buying online, getting used to going to church online, getting used to uh, getting online education, attending classes and seminars online, doing events online. Three years. And after three years, they're like, go back to normal. You can't. You won't. You're just going to adapt. Basta. COVID-19 isn't the ultimate reset life button as we knew it. I've managed to adapt to the new normal. We're no longer going back to the 2018 normal. Life has really changed uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So even though I've experienced some negatives during this pandemic, but I've learned to turn them into some um, positives. So life is going on for me perfectly. So even if I may say so myself, but yeah, I've turned these advantages into advantages because I've learned that if I'm not going to um, try adjust to this uh, new normal, I'm going to be left behind. We're no longer going backwards, only forward we go. So yeah, for me, it hasn't really affected me that much because I've learned how to adjust and this, the, the, the pattern works really well for me. Thank so Bastana, Bastana has learned to, to adapt. And she's moving right along with it. Oyen. Aye, oyen me na kabuzi isa oyen. We met to zira elor are. We're going back. Aye, oyen me na. Aye, what do I mean, Doctor Eric? Talk to them. Some consider that many people have lost their loved ones uh, because of COVID-19. Uh, but what came with it, the regulations and everything has been the ultimate reset uh, button uh, to life because we've seen quite a few people testifying of how they, uh, during the lockdown, they were, meant, they were able to spend time with family, something that they really never had uh, the opportunity to do. And for me personally, this has forced me to adapt because I'm one person that believes that you either adapt or uh, you go home. <laughs> uh, because I don't think that we should be sitting and thinking of how uh, the previous years were. We are faced with a situation now, and it's time to find ourselves trying, uh, and it's time we uh, find ways to navigate through life uh, regardless of how the circumstances are currently. Mm -hmm. He's saying, Eric saying, guys, we need to adapt. And this was a blessing in disguise because of most people are now being able to, you know, be with their families. People hardly checked out on their families. We hardly did that. But because of now everything is happening while you are at home, you are able to see your family and socialize with them. Tando, let's hear what Tando has to say about this issue. Thank you for having me. So here are my thoughts on the two questions that you asked me. I personally feel that COVID is not a reset button, however, a disruption of our lives. You know, life as we know it is no longer going to be possible for instance now we are more technology based you know when things can no longer be as manual as it used to be you know we are forced to adapt without a choice literally without a choice you know work for me is different i'm working from home with high expectation to be productive you know meetings are on zoom and teams so i can have meetings with different clients multiple meetings in a day it's just crazy, you know, there's more Netflix and chills, so unlimited data service is in need. We get to appreciate our loved ones every day with everybody losing their lives. So hopefully everything will stabilize and we'll just get used to our new normal. Thank you. Data is the new oil, most definitely. Data is the new oil. Tando is saying, Bona, we don't have a choice, but we are forced to adapt to this issue of uh you know COVID-19 and social distancing and working from home 
we are forced to do that. So are you adapting or you are waiting to go back? Let's say, talk to them. Okay. Uh, I think for me, uh, this COVID-19 is a blessing in disguise. Because uh, if you look at it health-wise, uh, people do not have, um, you know, hygiene hygiene habits. People <laughs> never wash their hands, we never sanitized. And that's something we should have done, you know, from like long time ago. It should be a norm that you must sanitize your hands. You need to, you know, adopt, um, you know, uh, healthy and clean, clean habits. In terms of working, uh, I think companies have been companies have been wasting money for nothing. People are working from home now, uh, and they're doing very well. We very much advanced in terms of technology. I don't have to be in the same space as you to you know engage in business matters. I can do that from home, so companies can save money in terms of rent, electricity, and taking care of their stuff from the office. So for me, I don't wanna go back. I'm cool with uh, the new normal. Let's see how you're saying, I'm cool with the new normal. So good, Vince. Uh, companies have been wasting money putting everyone in their office. Electricity, water bills. But I get long high, man. As long as you get your job done, sort it. Plus, come on, we to trap a bit You know, we must look all fleshy. But I get high. You know, because when you're working from home, you just wear a shirt. And boxers. <laughs> Little clippies. I bet you don't want to see my shoes right now. I'm telling you, <laughs> you don't want to see my shoes right now. Because they are looking hella amazing. Like, huh? Are you shooting worry? <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Uh, let's go to the next voice note. Paula. Really? Yes, I see your question here. Uh, my answer is yes to that. Um, it's a reset button because change of seasons, it helps to cleanse the world. So in this case, like God, the universe, mm, and what else, and Mother Nature, they are using COVID like, remember Noah's Ark? How God used the boat to cleanse or people who are like live the right living, they had to enter in Noah's Ark. But in this case, our reset button is different because it's not easy people to adapt to change. So in this way, change has come to kill old habits and upgrade and we must obviously move on to the new cycle of life. So Okay, Paula, 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 Paula took us to the Bible. Paula is talking about some Noah's Ark and extinction level events. I have so much time for that, but not now, you know, not now. And uh, yeah, uh, she really, she really went deep, uh, Paula, liking this to, to, you know, to the Noah's Ark. I mean... But then in this regard is the COVID, you know, which I really much applaud that ideology regarding this. Let's go to Sansa, South African National Space Agency. Mr. Denma Tapola said, talk to us. Compliments of 2019. 21. I think COVID-19... Air Force who realized that the true nature of our human being Re, 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 we're going to live life the way it should be lived, thinking more, doing less, thinking first before we do, and thinking critically about the shortest route to the end goal. We must innovate in our businesses, and I have certainly experienced this in the year 2020. So the household is the new 
place for innovation in Africa and the new center of economic production. So I think that innovation is the name of the game, always has been, but now it's more. Always has been and now it's more. Then it's, 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 it's those deep thinkers, you know? Innovation in terms of uh, doing things is changing. And I think one of the things that have been making a return when you listen to all of these this talks is that we need to, uh, you know, be innovative enough, innovative, innovative to come up with, with new ideas. But what types of new ideas are we looking into? Because this is completely a new thing. When you say a new idea, what are we looking into? And are we going to have new ideas across all departments? Huh? Which sectors will not be affected by, by this? Obviously looking into health will not be affected by this new changing ways. Agriculture will also be not affected by, by this unless it gets, you know, that polish. So when all of these things are happening and new ideas, everyone's talking about innovation, this innovation, come up with new ideas. Oh. So this new norm, it forces us to think basically what, what about, my question also goes to those who have been studying, those who have been curriculum, doing their courses. What if their courses become so irrelevant now going forward? What should they do? Now we just go along three to four years old, studying, studying this thing. The next thing, this thing, I said, job at the What's going to happen? So it means now I was wasting money going to visit. And now we're talking about jobs of the future. What are these jobs of the future? It means now I need to change completely and, you know, learn all these new jobs of the future, everything that has to do with gadgets. Is, there, is it what we mean when we say you must adapt? Now there's, 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 there's all these uh, transport companies, you know, which is going to be a big thing in the future. Everyone going to open up their own transport company. No, let me get delivered at Ijo. Get me uh, so that I can deliver food from, from the shop to your place. You know, um, you'll pay me this, this much. That is growing. Last VN from uh, Mr. K. We've got to talk to them. 19 is the ultimate reset life button in a sense of priorities things i took for granted now i take them serious knowing life is too short we live by hope i imagine life without unsung weights that could have made a difference in someone's life now they are gone I've been procrastinating to start a business. Businesses are closed. You realize you could have done it when you had time. In a nutshell, it is a really big button of a reset. Habut Katya was saying, hey, this is a big reset. Life is being reset here. Life is changing. It is changing. As I said, you know, when I started this, that these things have been gradually coming in on, you know, into our lives, but then with the COVID-19, it became worse. Hit me up with your comments down below. Are you adapting? Or are you actually waiting for Ramabillion to open up uh, all the levels and, you know, take us back to, uh, you know, no, to, to alert level zero? Or to no lockdown. Are you seeing that happening? Or you are not? Right? Right. So from this, we will be able to, you know, broaden it up, talk, you know, look into 
of entrepreneurship, looking to employment of the future, looking to uh, social events from this conversation that will branch and, I, and, and hopefully we will be able to break it down in the future. So from me, Vincent SP, peace and God bless you.